Hello, it is Monday. It's a new weekly reading vlog. I have some really good reading updates for you. So yesterday after I closed off the vlog after finishing Akasuf, I did manage to read my buddy read pages for Born of Blood and Nash. They were probably my favourite pages so far. <laughs> Stuff actually happened. I actually felt emotion and like it actually felt like the plot was going somewhere. Um, and then today, I have read today's pages and I'm back to just feeling, because I'm really annoyed by this one thing and it's not being addressed. And it's really frustrating me and it's really bringing my enjoyment as a whole down for this book. Also, I've been really cold all day to the point I had a cup of tea this evening. But now I'm warm in my room again. I can't win. But today i binged the entirety of sea glass i was only 31 pages in so i binged the entirety let's be real um this was a five star i so this is going better than the point like the study series because the study series was a five a four and a four whereas this is currently a five and a five it's not better than the first book in the um it's not study series glass series but it's also, like, I think it would have been better if it didn't suffer a little bit from middle book syndrome. But apart from that, I really enjoyed it. It was still a five star. And I am very much looking forward to reading Spyglass next month. Um, so, yeah, this, I didn't bring my planner up with me. This was one of, I'm trying to trying to picture where it is in the bingo board let me get the bingo board up i got the bingo board up and i know where on the bingo board it was so this was ghost train friend wreck obviously tori recommended it i think i also had this for my for my may the tbrb with you um let me check for this i'm gonna have to go and look back at my video for my tbr so this is my hero book to read a book with a strong female character opal is very much a strong female character and i'm really enjoying seeing her like just grow as the series goes on um so there's that and then i have been really worried about my tbr for the rest of the month because i have an ebook a physical book with no audiobook another physical book with no audiobook and a physical book with audiobook and i thought the physical book with audiobook i can save for wednesday slash thursday when i am in the office preferably wednesday because i don't want to take the book with me on thursday because then i'm going up straight to ashes from work although i could just leave it in my locker no wednesday <laughs> So I thought I would go for one of my physical books. The ebook is one that I'm reading with Ash at the weekend. So I started The Extinction Trials Exile, which is the one I have been most worried about reading because I remember struggling a little bit with the first one and I'm starting to think it might be because I read it as an ebook, uh, even though I do have the physical book. Don't ask me why I did that. Um, however, I powered through like 139 pages in about an hour and a half so I think I'm okay I'm gonna see if I can finish this tomorrow I don't know if I'll be able to because I do have work tomorrow the only reason I got so much reading done today was because it was bank holiday Monday and I didn't have work and I didn't have any plans that is not the case tomorrow because tomorrow I have work however I have got a lot of my work to do tomorrow which means i think i could be wrong on that um which means i won't be doing the other task that i've been doing to help out with someone else which requires a lot of like focusing um so hopefully i'm not gonna be able to get anywhere on my lunch break annoyingly because i need to wash my hair on my lunch break um so I'm gonna finish work and then just try and like crack on with this after dinner and hopefully finish it i've got like 230 pages 
So that's like two and a half hours, three hours, three and a half hours. If I can just like put on the forest app and focus, hopefully I can do this. We'll see. Um, but I'm really, I should say, I'm actually really enjoying this. I've got straight back into the story and it is so interesting to see, to start seeing like the politics because the first book you're very much only seeing Storm Chaser and Lincoln and it's very much from their point of view in their side of the world essentially and then seeing them on the island with the dinosaurs whereas this they're very much intertwined with the politics now and you're seeing it from that point of view and you're seeing more of the background stuff going on which is great but I am so excited to see where this goes and I'm like I'm definitely gonna need to have to try and that was a lot of words I'm definitely gonna need to try and read the third book soon because I want to see how it goes um but yeah really enjoying this and this I don't think is going to feel like a middle book because it very much has Hunger Games vibes I mean it even says here the Hunger Games meets Jurassic Park and I the blurb for this does not give away the thing so I can't tell you just how much this has Hunger Games vibes but yeah I'm very much excited to see where this one goes um so that is my update i am now going to go to bed and i'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is tuesday i <laughs> read my buddy Rupert's pages of born of blood nash and the penny has finally dropped on something but now something else is annoying me. And if it goes the way I think it's going to go, it is going to drop stars just because of this. And I'm so angry. <sighs> I'm getting more and more frustrated. I'm glad that we've only got like, I think two more days of the buddy read. Yeah, we've got two more days of the buddy read. But I'm just done at this point. Done. Um, But in good news, I... Finished The Extinction Trolls Exile by S.M. Wilson. This was a five star. This was so good. Like, I thought the first one was high stakes. This one, oh my god. At one point, I fully was like, while reading, because I just, it was intense. Like, so intense. Um, but the issue I have now is I want to I want to pick book three up straight away and I can't because it's not on my TBR and it's not on September's TBR and also I don't have time. So that's my dilemma. But for series TBR a this was my Dodgems TBR vet. I've had this for a good four or five years. It came out in 2018, but I've definitely had it since at least 2019. So I think I've had it since whenever the third book come out. So yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy with this. This was so good. It very much is Hunger Games meets Jurassic Park. Um, and the Jurassic Park side of it is my favourite thing. Because... I want more dinosaur books and this is now making me more tempted to pick up Taryn Mathrow's Contender series because I've got the first two books in that series and I haven't read them but it looks like there's dinosaurs in them and that's what I want I want dinosaur books now so yeah also I used a different um so I like wash my hair again today and I use the only curl stuff but I so I got the shampoo the conditioner the something and something but the fourth step so I got the like actual pot but they included a sachet of their other product that um 
they usually use. So I've got the Enhancing Curl Gel, but some people prefer the Mega Hold Curl Gel. So they put a sachet of that in so I could try both, which I really appreciate. Like, that was really nice of them. And I've used the Mega Hold Gel. And the thing is, I, I feel like maybe it's a bit more defined, but I don't like the feel of it. So I think I'm going to stick with the one I actually got the bottle of. And what I really like about them is they emailed me saying, Hi Becca, just wanted to say thank you for your recent purchase from my shop, Only Curls. I really hope you're loving the products. You might have noticed we popped a sachet of a mega hold curl gel in the box. This is our stronger hold gel and we wanted you to have this so you have both options to try in your wash day. There's a 50-50 split between those that love the enhancing gel versus our mega hold gel and it's a personal preference. So we thought it important that you try both options. After you've tried both, I'd love to hear which one of you which one you liked best you can just reply to this email with one word i really appreciate it. and i've like they send you um emails on how best to apply the apply the um the products and like how to like style your hair so like the scrunching and everything and as someone who is only just starting to try and get more definition in my curls now i've got my curls back I'm really appreciating I mean this is a small business as well so yeah but I'm babbling I'm gonna go and I'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is Wednesday I'm gonna make this quick because it is 20 minutes past midnight and I'm in the office tomorrow and I've got a very long day um I've read my body read pages I've born with blood and ash I I'm glad a conversation between two characters went the way it did um, because I was fully ready to like to star this book if it didn't go that way um, which seems dramatic but based on everything else it makes sense if you've read it um, so we're finishing this tomorrow and I can't wait to be done with it this is not going to be high rated and I'm gutted about that but then on Gem Sprints, I read almost all of Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. And then I just finished it because I had like 40 minutes left when we come off Sprints. And I was like, I'm finishing this book because I don't want to take it to ashes for like this much. Um, so I finished this. <laughs> this is a five star. This was so refreshing. One, to see the representation of like... Um, asexuality be talk being talked about and demisexuality um, there was like a fist pump moment where a character did something and I was like yeah it was great um, and it was really refreshing to see a contemporary romance with older characters because usually the older she get is like mid 30s but at the start of the book she's 48 and he's 50 and it is really refreshing to see an older couple it's great and I just loved them they were so they were just so great and seeing their like relationship bloom was amazing um so I'm very happy with this this for series tv marathon was my ice cream fave genre romance fave genre um so yeah that's another two bingos Another two bingos. But on that note, I'm going to now go to bed. Because I'm so tired. Um, so I'll catch up with you. Probably not tomorrow. Because I'm getting the train to Ashes straight from work. And I won't get to hers till late. So by the time I get to hers, I'm just going to want to shower and then go to bed. So I'll probably now update you on Friday. We'll see. Hey, it's Thursday. Thursday night. <laughs> We're doing that one. <laughs> um, reading updates. So I'm going to put the book in between us. I finished Born of Blood and Ash. Now, there were some really good action scenes. But overall, this was a three star and I've never been more disappointed. Oh, yeah. And if it was not for the fact that the final book that's coming out next year of the Blood and Ash series is the final book... I wouldn't bother continuing.
You're not selling me to continue Don't this. bother. I'm unhauling all of the ones that I own physically because I'm not spending out money. Well, I'm just gutted because A Fire in the Flesh that I read last month was insane. It was so good. So I had so many high hopes for this one. And then, nope. Also, there was too much smut. Right. I understand fantasy romance, where it's a very big romance plot, is going to have a lot of smut. But it was like every five minutes, there was another smut scene. And I'm like, no. If, if it was a contemporary romance, then yeah, fine, give me that. Or if I'm reading like a Kindle Unlimited smut, fine. But if I'm reading a fantasy romance, I'm here for the plot as well. And it just, I ended up just skipping the smart scenes oh, no. because I just I was sick of them <laughs> so yeah very disappointed and then just to continue the disappointment for the day I started the sun in the void so I got this arc May 2023 and then I just haven't heard good things about it and about the author but I'm not sure yeah. what the things were I can't remember but anyway I saw, I haven't bought it, I didn't buy it, I skipped that month on the Illuma crate, and then I noticed that NetGalley had the audiobook, so I was like, oh, well, I'll get I'll get through it, I'll get it. <sighs> 132 pages in and I've DNF'd. There is too much going on and nothing happening, and I don't understand how. <laughs> the pacing is so odd, and... This is supposed to be like a sapphic romance. Now, I get the possibility of slow burn. However, there's been no inkling that there is any queer characters at all. And in fact, someone literally said to one of the main characters, oh, my, because you can just have loads of cute babies. But she doesn't want to have loads of cute babies. She wants to be a badass woman without babies, specifically without babies. She doesn't want to be defined by having babies. If she wanted to have babies, then fine, have all the cute babies. But she doesn't. And that's my thoughts. <laughs> so I've DNF'd. Yay. Um, so this will be going. I'm just annoyed that I brought this huge book all the way with me to Ashes with the intention of reading it and getting it off my TBR just to DNF it 25% in before I even got to Ashes. But it's fine fine that was really shiny shiny you um could have left it in king's cross just randomly that's not awesome. that's littering <laughs> that is littering but i don't want to do that to someone else <laughs> um but then there was the train journey and for the first like hour and a half i started secrets of blackthorn hall the little Easter eggs. I am so here for this. I have taken a picture of a few bits. One made me cry. Um, because it links back to some someone in last hours. I don't know that and one. I need someone else to read this so that I can send my thoughts. But I'm loving it so far. I am halfway through. And it's just so much fun. There are a few editing errors I've noticed. Like there's a word and it will be like a five letter word. And there'll be two letters, a space, and then the other three letters. And I'm like, we've paid so much for this Kickstarter and you can't even edit it properly. And there's been like three times things like that have happened. And then there was, there was one where the word the was repeated. So it was like the something, the. The first the didn't make sense in the sentence. And I'm so annoyed because we paid so much for this Kickstarter and it's not even been edited properly. Like, they're little things that anyone can make that mistake, but that's what editors are for. Yeah. And it's Cassandra Clare. You would think she would have good editors, whether it's being traditionally published or not. Like, it's, it's that's really annoying. annoyed me. <laughs> But the story, absolutely loving. Are we shocked? No. I'm getting new gem content. That's all I care about. 
Um, so yeah. And then for the other half of the journey, I watched, I finished watching an episode of Critical Role, um, which was great, apart from I had to turn it up so loud because there were children running up and down the carriage and their parents were doing nothing. And then one of them fell into the chair because the train jolted and I laughed. I didn't laugh out loud. They didn't see me laugh. I sort of like bit my tongue so I didn't laugh out loud. But after that, they stopped running up and down and instead just started climbing in front of the, like, all over the chairs in front of their parents. <sighs> Some people shouldn't have kids. So yeah. But now I'm here. And I am not dressed for the north. <laughs> I dressed this morning in a summery flowy skirt and a tank top and just had my thin cardigan because it's like 20 odd degrees in London. It was 20 degrees earlier. Yeah, during the day. Yeah, well, that's an issue, not an issue. Me. Me. Love it. But yeah, my arm is hurting holding this, so... And I'm, I, my, my arm is completely numb <laughs> because I'm leaning. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow where I I would have finished this. I'm going to read it on my lunch break. Um, yeah. Hello. It is Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I didn't. Oh, yes. Yeah, we didn't vlog yesterday. Um, but yesterday, all I read was about 20 pages of Secrets of Blackthorn Hall. Um, and that was it. <laughs> In the evening, we literally just went to Asda, got food, and then watched a couple of episodes of Clone Wars before we went to bed. It's one of those days. Yeah, we had, we had we got pizza. We did, we did. It was good. And then this morning, we went to the company shop. Yes, which is something that I get through my job. I get a membership and it has okay. it's it's to help with like food waste yeah and stuff like that um and i'd seen it on tiktok and i was like i'm interested but also i'm not like interested enough yeah and then i found out it was a free membership and i was like <laughs> i'm interested and it was only like 15 minutes away from where i live and like there was stuff there like bags of like biscuits but they're broken, so it's like, it, I think the milk chocolate digesters were like pound fifty, but it was like a kilo of broken milk chocolate digestives and like a bag of, I think, dark dark chocolate orange Kit Kats were like pound fifty for a kilo bag. And then they do like meat, they do all sorts, but you never know what you're going to get in there because it could be different every single time. And it's like all of like the, the stuff from different shops. Yeah. So there was like wait, you got a weight rose watermelon cooler. Yes. Um, there was um, M and S things, Asda, Tesco. Yeah. So there was like um, the frozen spring um veggie spring rolls from Asda, um, which are usually about two pound two fifty yeah. for the party food, and it was like seventy five p. Yeah. You there was got some squash for like ten p. There was some like spice packets that were like. It said, what was it, 70p or 50p, but they were free. Yeah. So it's and it was, it's like you get to pick six items, six of each item. If it's a case, two cases? I think one or two cases. I'm pretty sure you said two cases. If it were, to be fair, if you buy a case, I'm only buying one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then any, any and all yogurts you can carry. With what he said. We only got one pack of four yogurts because they, to be fair, they've got the 14th of September. So it's not like it's a close to use by mm -hmm. day. There was some with the 4th of September, which obviously it's the 31st of August today. But like, there's only two of us. We're not going to have a million yogurts every day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we went there. We went M&S food because I wanted the to see what Halloween sweets they had. And they had none in there. So we got other things. Rude. We did get other things. <laughs> And we spent TikTok more in there. made me do it. We spent more in there yeah. on less items than we did in um company, company shop. shop. Really bad. Um, but yeah. But then we come back and throughout the day we have been buddy reading Iris Kelly Doesn't Date, which we finished it, but in between reading that, 
I'll come back to this. In between reading that, so like when Ash was making dinner because she made us lasagna. Um, which is involved. Yeah, because she, she made the pasta and the cheese sauce herself. So good. Um, I was reading this and I finished it and... I usually, right, it takes a lot for me to give a short story collection five stars. Cassandra Clare's always get five stars because they always bring something to the story. Like the Bane Chronicles. Some of the short stories in it don't. But there are some that it's like, mm, this could be important. Ghost of the Shadow Market, definitely important. Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, definitely important. Now... <laughs> This has set up for some things in Wicked Powers. And I do appreciate not everyone's getting these because this is the Kickstarter. It was not cheap. Not everyone is able to get this. Completely appreciate that. I genuinely don't think she will do people dirty. I think anything important from this will be explained in Wicked Powers. For example, the way this ended. <laughs> Which you can't say anything about. I can't say anything about, but if you have read Secrets of Blackthorn Hall... Give her a message. Please message me privately, because I need to scream about everything in this. But it was a five star, and to the point, it got all tens. A Cassandra Clare book has never got that high of a five star. They've all got five stars, but they've never got that high of a five star. And I think it's because it was just... I, I can't explain why without spoiling. It was just a warm hug and I loved it, even if it did make me cry multiple times. Can confirm. Um, but yeah, that wasn't on my TV. I just wanted to read it. Um, but yeah, we, so we read this. This was on our TBR. Um, this for series TV marathon was Tunnel of, Tunnel of Love, finish a series, because the third book in a trilogy. And this was so close to being a five star for me. <laughs> There were a few issues. I didn't like how some things were handled, but my main thing, <laughs> right near that. Now this is not a spoiler. Right near the beginning, there is a side character who is described as having a Cockney accent in the same chapter. Which first off, first off, let's say, through no fault of the the audio narrator, she did not do a very good. Cockney accent, so we were a she bit didn't. like, we were a bit like, oh. But I wouldn't judge the actual book on that. I would no, judge the narrator. No. But we were already a bit like, oh. Sounded a bit Irish. Yeah, which was great because there was a character who was Irish. Yeah, and, and that was great. It was a great Irish. Did accent. sound kind of like the same character, but anyway, described as having a Cockney accent, only for then like what six pages later. If that. She's from Liverpool. It is a basic. Google search to find out you don't get a Cockney accent in Liverpool. I, I am from East London. <sighs> Technically, I have a Cockney accent, but I'm the part of East London that's a very, very much on the border of Essex. So it's a very weird <laughs> Cockney slash Essex, as much as I hate saying that, because I'm not, es I'm not from Essex. I am from London. But it's very close to, it's a mix, but I know people with the Cockney accent and I'm from the area the <laughs> Cockney accent originated from. And that is not Liverpool. They are very, very different accents. They are so different. Oh, and it's angered me so much. Yeah. Like, and I feel like Andy's going to understand this because it's like when people use the wrong Scottish um, whiskey is a good example. Andy's going to understand my anger of this, even if she doesn't understand the exact thing. She's going to understand why I'm angry. Yeah, and it's the same as, like, when whenever they say, like, oh, it's from this person, this place or this place, and she's like, no, that makes not, that doesn't make logistical sense. Yeah. We do listen, Andy, we promise. We do. <laughs> but, yeah, and it's just, it's really frustrating. It's just like, and I'm going to bring it up again, in Thor Ragnarok. No, sorry, no. Thor Ragnarok's perfect, it's not that one. Thor the Dark World, when Thor gets on that tube and asks how to get to Greenwich, he is at Charing Cross. You don't take that train for three stops to get to Greenwich. 
from Charing Cross. That's literally impossible. And a slight Google search, just look at, look at a tube map, you would see. As a Londoner, I was offended. That's the only, and I know a lot of people hate Dark World, but that is the only thing I don't like about Dark World. A lot of other people would disagree. They would list other things. I don't care about your opinions on that film other than the scene with Charing Cross to Greenwich. But anyway, getting off track. Overall, <laughs> enjoyed this. Apart from the Cockney thing, it was mostly okay. There was just some things I didn't like. The third act breakup wasn't as bad as we thought it would be, yeah. which I'm glad. Um, this... I know you love the second book. However, things in this were handled better than what I thought in the yeah. second book because I have very, very big gripes yeah. with book two. Which is very understandable. Yeah. But this one I thought was, like, a lot better. Yeah. Even if there was some stuff that pissed me off. Yeah. But, yeah, so this was a four star. On Core Pile, it's technically a 4.5, but I don't do half stars. So, it was a four star. <laughs> um... But yeah, so that, I didn't think I'd do it, but that is my August TBR done. <sighs> Thank mm. you, Tori, for making me finish loads more series and continue with loads more series until next time. <laughs> yeah. Are we wrapping up? We are going to wrap this vlog up now because my arm is really hurting. Also, we are not wearing the same top. Mine is Lion King, hers is Boulder Parchment Shears. <laughs> Which I feel like we need to tell about the rock, paper, scissors. We did rock, paper, scissors the other day. We were trying to figure out who was going to talk first. And <laughs> so I was like, rock, paper, scissors. And we did it. And we did the same one. So that was funny. So we tried again. We did the same, did the one. same one. And, and we, we tried again. We did the same one. But what was funny about the third one was we hadn't done like rock, then paper, then scissors. We did scissors, then paper. And then I was like, oh, she's going to pick like, like she's going to think I'm going to pick rock. So she's going to do paper. So I'll do scissors. But I was thinking the same thing. So we both did scissors. After that, we gave up because I had forgotten what I wanted to say anyway. It was so funny. So, yeah. We are two alike. <laughs> it was really funny. It was funny. But, yeah. So, I'm going to wrap this vlog up now because my arm is really hurting holding this phone. Um, it's September tomorrow. So, it will be a new vlog next week with new books. I have a book with me to start tomorrow if I get time. And also... I have an audio book because I'm starting a buddy read with Kelly on Monday on the way home. So, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye.